this episode, we're going to be looking at an authentication solution that I've been working on where a user can sign up. So I'll sign up with Jane at example.com. I'll put in a password and then we'll sign up. This will send a email verification, which looking at my logs, I'm just going to copy this and then we'll paste it into the browser. We've now verified our email address. We can now sign in. I'll enter in the email address, the password, and then we can sign in. So this is a very basic implementation of authentication and it's using all of the different features found in Rails 7. So the password reset and everything is using that new generate token functionality. In addition, I've also been working on having a way that you can manage different devices. So for this particular device, I can log out this user and you'll see that this user has now been logged out. If this were a different device, then that user would have been logged out on that other device. And I've also been working on adding in pass keys. So a pass key is a secure way to have a physical token, or you can have a virtual pass key, which can then be synchronized on browsers or with the iCloud keychain. So in this example, I'm just going to press a physical hardware key. And then as soon as I do, you'll see that it's been added in. We can register another key. And this time, I'm just going to use the browsers. So we'll continue, and that's been added in. And we could also add a third one. Maybe we want to choose a different pass key and use the iCloud keychain, and that'll work just as well. So if I were to sign out and then sign back in as jane at example.com, we'll put in the password, we'll sign in, we'll then be prompted to insert in our key. So I can hit cancel, and then I can choose a different one. I can use my Chrome profile. I can use the physical security key or my phone or tablet, or I can use the iCloud one. I'll just select the Chrome profile and then it signed me in. If I tried signing in without using that security key, so we'll just hit cancel. I'll hit cancel again, and then I'll just try to go to a different path. You'll see that it didn't sign me in at all. So even though an email address and password is a good method of authentication as far as information that you know, it is compromisable by social engineering or some other methods of exploits. But using a passkey, especially a physical hardware passkey, is much more secure as that's not something that you can accidentally give away. It requires you to have the actual device. So I don't like using browser passkeys or stuff like that. I definitely prefer using a Yubico hardware key or similar. However, it's one of those things where I'll never have just one single key that I use. Because if I were to ever lose that key or get locked out of my account, then I have no way to authenticate. So I think having multiple keys, maybe you could use the iCloud keychain or similar, as well as a physical key would be your best bet. And so we're going to look at implementing this with a gem that I've created and that I've been working on, and I hope to add more functionality to. It's called Action Auth, and the idea is try to keep it as simple as possible, while also being very feature rich. So by default, we have a lot of functionality out of the gate, and there's a few more that I'm thinking about implementing, but I haven't quite decided on how I want to approach them yet. And did you know that you can go to railstore.com? to get your own Ruby on Rails t-shirt or your Drift and Ruby t-shirt. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.